Thank you so much to Hamster Ham for the 41 month resub. Thank you. Hamster Ham 88 just subscribed. Yeah. Well, I might be getting close to 33, but if I don't finish off, finish strong here, I'll be down very quickly. And um, even if I do finish strong tomorrow, I have Arena Kings and I'll probably lose a bunch of points. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not really expecting much. If I can get through today and tomorrow and be close to 3,300, I might have a shot to try and run it up hard over the weekend. But, I mean, in general, it's not likely. I'm going to have to get through today and tomorrow. And I've got to keep my rating intact. And that's not, that's not a gimme by any stretch. Out of coffee. Unlucky. Thank you to Alucard for the five months. Thank you so much to Alucard. Appreciate it. Why am I on Twitch? I almost always stream Tuesdays on Twitch. Sometimes I'll do the evening title Tuesday on Kick. But generally, I stream it on Twitch. Thank you to Alucard for the five. Master Chef tomorrow? Absolutely. On move 20, you get D5, which was winning. Uh-huh. You get D5 on move 20? Wait. Yeah, D5, of course. Such an obvious human move, please. Yeah, D5, just ignoring that I've taken a piece and playing down a piece so nothing happened. Come on. Yeah, yes, thank you. Thank, thank you, Stockfish. I, I really needed I really needed that. Uh, thank you so much to Sleeping Cobra for the 46-month resub. Thank you so much. Yeah, just ignore that I've taken a knight on GN and go D5. Yeah. So. Yay! Thank you so much to Any Jammers for the two-month resub. Thank you so much to Any Jammers. 17,000 viewers on a regular Title Tuesday is insanely good. We were over 20 this morning. We were over 20 last week. Um, I mean, Title Tuesday is the biggest event in chess, bar, bar none. Easily the biggest event. Um, so, yeah, Title Tuesday is great. Title Tuesday is, I mean, it's the biggest event in chess. And, I mean, when, when you know, I think when I look back on things in like 10 years from now, I'll be very proud of that because I think... Ultimately, when I started playing Title Tuesday from the get-go and to see where it is now versus where it was, it's um, it's 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 remarkable. Thank you to the Framer for the two. Thank you, PH Pimental. Obviously, it makes winning Title Tuesday a nightmare, but fact is, I, I won so many Title Tuesdays and so many strong players play it now. So it's uh, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. Thank you to Benny for the Prime. Yeah, thanks so much to Benny. I get Mashana, good old Alexei Serrano, who I've played many times, by the way. I lost him in... um. The world world blitz i think it was in 2021 when i missed this queen g6 2022 rather this backwards check for the lolly mate but let bygones be guy bygones uh, i'm gonna play a dutch again he's all, he's never played well when i played the dutch against him so i'm gonna go c6 here something slow he can obviously take um go here i'm gonna play e5 go h6 all very normal so far Let's go here. Queen E8 maybe is slightly better just to break the pin, but I'm not really worried about it at the moment. Um, let's all go here. Maybe Bishop F7 and Knight BD7 seems fine. It's chess. C5, probably Knight D7. Okay. I guess I'll just play here. Got to be a little bit careful about these pawn breaks in the center of the board. Um, let's go here. And it goes B3. I kind of expect that. Now, the key here is what to do. I think I'm gonna go here. Oh, did I blunder G4? Ah, great, I did, didn't I? Oh shoot, I did blunder this. Um, should have played Bishop F7. Let's think. If I go G5, Bishop G3, Bishop F2. Problem is Knight H7 is also D5. That's the big issue that I have here. Um. I think I'm just gonna go here. Because now I can go knight h7 because d5 takes, takes, takes. At the end, there's no uh, fossil because the king's no longer on g8, or no pin because the king's not on g8. So he does. I guess I pre move this in case he takes. It was knight g3. I kind of expect him to do that. I thought I might have some g5 here. I have a feeling this isn't right, though, somehow. I have a feeling he's misplayed this, and I don't know why, but it's, it doesn't feel right. Um, so ed4, ed4, g5. I go g5, takes, 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 knight f5, knight h5, and that's very, very sharp. 5, d5, queen g6. Takes, knight c5, bishop c I mean, this is very, very sharp. I don't have a lot of time to think. That's the other problem with the position. Um, not e4. f4 is no good. 
So what are the candidate moves? There's knight h7, or there's like g5. That's pretty much it. Can take, take, and play. Oh, maybe I should take, take, and play. Actually, maybe I should take, take, and go knight h7 because of the diagonal. Actually, I think this is correct. Because now the diagonal's open. Hopefully, I'm not crazy. But the diagonal is open here now. My king's safe, so there's none of this nonsense with a pin. And this diagonal's open. I mean, it's going to get very, very sharp. I guess I'll pre move this in case he plays d5. Maybe not. I, I don't know. This is very, very sharp. Goes knight e2. I was I think d5, knight b5 look kind of good, but he didn't do it. So he goes knight e2. So the problem for me here is how do I get rid of the stupid threat on the diagonal? I could go d5 to force him to play c5, but it doesn't look right. It's what Gata would do, actually. Gata would play d5 for sure here. Um g5 is a move. D5 is the Gata move. Um do I play the Gata move or not? Not to be confused with the God move, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Gata move. Let's play D5. Goes King G2, which is interesting. Um, so he's trying to go Knight F4, maybe or not. I don't actually know what's happening here. I guess I'll go here because Knight F4, I can still just take. Like, it's getting very, very murky. I don't actually know what's going on here either. Like, it's so complex. Let's take. Because he's walking into a pin on the file. That's the thing. Like, there, there's this massive pin. Whoa, can he get away with this? Wow. Um, go here. takes oh that's a good move shoot oh great did i blunder i think i did have to take probably in trouble here but maybe i can still save it though yeah. this looks scary but maybe it's okay actually the more i think about it, the more i think i'm okay because i have bishop f6 to force this bishop off and his king is very, very weak. So maybe I'm actually okay here. He's getting a little bit low on time too now. And he's getting low on time. I think I should be okay. He goes queen d2. There's queen f5 or bishop f6. I think bishop f6 looks right to me. Now let's go here. Oh no, that's a blunder. Oh no, that's a blunder by me. Oh, he take. That was definitely a blunder, but I'm gonna survive. I think he could have taken and taken h6, but whatever. Okay, do I take with a queen or do I take with a king? Also a big question. I think I'll take with the king. Yeah, now I'm okay here, actually. I'm fine. Now I just gotta focus and just be quiet. Um let's go here. Gotta pass pawn potentially. Let's see, I can play here. I think rook d8 must be right. Oh, I missed that. Shoot, I missed that move. Um, I gotta go here. Oh, great, I messed this up. The heck. Okay, I just gotta move fast now. Oh, I tricked him. Oh my God, I tricked him. Oh my God, I just tricked him. Oh my God, I just tricked him. Oh my God. I just tricked him with knight f5 and rook g5 and he gets, he gets mated. Um, okay, let's go here. Just gotta stay focused here. No, no stupid blunders. 
track. Go here. Yeah, now I just win. Uh, it doesn't even matter. Just go here and take. It's still losing. There we go. There we go. We got the win. I was completely lost in that game. Miracles, though. You use D you use these knights, and sometimes you get lucky. Yeah, he, <laughs> king f5. Wow. Yeah, I was I was actually in real trouble that game. Thanks so much to Calvinist for the prime. The dark arts, the dark magic back at it. We got the win. Six out of six. Fabiano also on six. Ali Reza trying to push. Ali Reza lost or did he win? Wait, Ali Reza was white or black? Ali Reza loses the Santo blue from uh, Turkey. <sighs> Oof. So three people on six. Myself, Fabiano, and Santo Blue. We're all on. Th we're all on six out of six. Yeah, I mean everybody. All the games are hard. Yeah. My middle game position felt so ugly. I think I was in a lot of trouble there, but I found a way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was completely losing there. I was down on clock. I was down a pawn. I guess a player as good as um as Saran is. Like, to get that miracle, like, yeah, just got to get the win. Totally lost that one, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Six out of six. What's our streak up to? What's our streak up to? We're up to a streak of, what's the streak, you guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 is at 32, 50. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 2, 3, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 at 65, um, 31, 2, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Gustavo is 41, 42, 44. We're at 44. Thank you to El Jose Lilo for the 15 months. Yeah. 44 in a row. Let's keep going. Yep. Thank you so much to El Trico for the prime. Thank you to El Trico, 69 for the prime. Yeah. <laughs> Very interesting. Yep. Let's keep going. I mean, if I get to 49, if I somehow go 11 out of 11, you know I'm going to play one more game against some like 2,600 to gain one point and get to a 50 straight streak. Thank you, Gia Joe, for the prime. Thank you, Gia Joe. New blog post. Yeah, there will be no blog post. There might be some angry Twitter post, but no blog post. Um, yeah. This guy wants Cram to lose his head. Well, it's more like he already lost it, but yeah. <sighs> Shriek gets 3,000 sus. No, if every game was against 3,000, I'd probably be winning like pro. If I was playing 3,000 every game, I'm guessing my win percentage on average would be around like 70 ish percent, if that. Over a long streak, it would be very low. Okay, we get Sando Blue. We're on six out of six, trying to go for win number 45 in a row. Let's get going. Let's get it. My God. Okay, what do I want to do? I can play e5. Let's play a con. Let's play the con. There must be some Trekkies in chat. So let's play the classic con Sicilian in honor of all those Trekkie fans. I am also playing in honor of God of Kampsky, the famous freaking legend. Let's go here. Yeah. Um, okay, which line do I want to play? There's so many different ways to play this. I think I'm going to play the old line, which is knight f6, knight c6. Play the old line with takes and bishop. Two. There's some Fabiano idea right in here where I think you sack. I think you sack like a pawn or something. He has this against Ariantari. You sack some pawn sack with like e5, I think. You go h6, e5, and then it's a bishop e6. It's like, I think it's just bishop e6, and you, or do you take? How does this line go? There's some takes. Is it, I think it's takes here. And it's like bishop e6 or something is what Fabiano did. Maybe I've got the line wrong, though. I think this is the line. You go here, and then you play. I think you take you take or do you play rook c8? I don't remember. I'm going to go rook c8. I don't remember if this is correct, but I remember very vaguely some Fabian a game against Ariane Tari and something exactly like this. Maybe it was takes and rook d8, actually, but whatever. Okay, we don't have time to think. Um... It's also knight g4 here. I don't I just don't remember the game. That's the problem. 
I can't castle. I can take. Just try, I just can't remember the game for the life of me. That's the problem. Why do I feel like it's? I feel like it's Queen C5 for some reason. But I'm down so much time on clock. I just have to move quickly. Like this is ridiculous. Maybe it was H5, H4 somewhere too. But I'm down like 40 seconds on the clock. That's just not acceptable. Like you just cannot be down this much time on the clock. So I have to, I have to pick up the speed and think on my opponent's turn, basically. And it goes there. I can obviously take. I don't think it's correct. Um, let's just go here and play chess. I'll pretend I've done nothing wrong, basically. I'll pretend I've done nothing wrong, even though I've definitely done something very wrong. I go H5, maybe. There. I mean, h5 is always a move, but I'm just going to play like rook c8. I'm not worried. I'll just go g6 if he ever checks. Uh, I guess I'll go g6. I don't like it, but I'll do it anyway. Okay, g4, logical. Um, don't want to play bishop d5. I also don't want to go rook c4. Let's just go here and try to reroute the knight, maybe. I don't even know what I'm doing, though. That's the problem. I actually don't know what I'm doing. So let's go here. Logical. Here. I have to make sure I don't make some huge blunder, basically. Here. I'm still worse here, by the way, but I'm not sure how much worse I am. I'm definitely still worse. Here. Time is starting to even out a little bit, though. Trying to think on his time as well, because I can't. Jared underscore the underscore potato just re goes Rick D1. I mean, I, do I have knight B6 here, or do I have to go knight C5? Um... Let's go here and hit the pawn. Okay, I can go b5 maybe. Hit the bishop as well. I feel like there should be a trick here. Like, ah, I feel like there should be a trick. Ah, I don't see it though. Ah, I can I can feel it in my bones, but I ah, I guess I'll go here. I can't spot. I feel like there's something. Maybe I have a five here. It's like there's that song, right? There's that famous song by those, but it was a Sarah and Tegan. Feel it in my bones. Do, do, do. In my bones. Let's take, let's take. Okay, now it's game on, because now I can go here and knight f6. It's game on. Put the knight on f6, and I think I have great chance to win here. Nebo just resubbed for 12 months. See what he does. He's low on time as well, which is, it's very important here that I use the time to my advantage. What? What is that? Huh? Wait a second. Wait a second. This looks insane. I hit the bit. Oh, wait, he's got B4? Or no, I've got Rook C8. Wait a second. Okay, slow this down. I got to be careful here. Wait. Knight E4, King F3, Knight E2, King E2. Knight e4, king f3. King f3, check. King e2. King f6. Looks okay. To dodge any tricks here. Uh, 
96, no threats. Oh wait, I can't, uh, I can't move my rook off. Um, I'm gonna go here. I mean, he can check and I take, but this should be winning, I think. Okay, I'm just gonna start pushing P. I think I'm winning, but I don't know. This should just be winning. I mean, I got too much P here. Wait, H2, H2, knight f2. Yeah, knight f2, easy. <sighs> tough game, we got the win. Whoo, tough game. Thank you for the secret goal. Thank you so much to Guriato. Thank you, Nebo. Thank you, Jared, the potato. Thank you, Alessandro Lope for the two. Thank you so much, Alex Null, HEZ for the prime. 45, we're up to 45 in a row. I think I was losing that game at some point, but was I ever losing? Yeah. It was plus five for him. Wait, which move? It felt bad, but I couldn't quite spot it. He could play knight c7. When he played Rook D1. Oh. Oh my gosh. The game was Caruan Atari versus Altibox Norway 2020. Yeah. I think it was Altron. Oh. Uh, hey, what can they say? It's better to be lucky than good, right? <laughs> it's better to be lucky than good. Yeah, Knight C7 and I just resigned the game. Jeez. Whatever, we take them. We take, we take the dubs. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 45 in a row. Let's keep going. Um, what's after 97? I, I actually, I'm just lost because the problem is I'm just lost, actually. I'm just completely lost here. Like, it's not even funny. It's, I'm just dead lost. Uh, yeah, because after 97, takes, takes, takes. There's 96 forking the king and the king and the rook. And if I don't, like I go here, he trades the, uh, he probably trades and then he's 98 forking this way. Actually, it's just dead lost. And I think he used a lot of time here too, right? Wow. He used 45 seconds and he didn't play it. He used 45 seconds on this move and he missed knight c7. Wow. Very lucky. Very, very lucky. He used 45 seconds and he missed it here. Yeah, I think of Federico for the 18th. Thing of Greece, Seki's for the prime. Yeah, actually, the song should be Voodoo. That's the song I should put on. Um, that's the song because Nighty Seven was pure Voodoo. Um, there we go. Bobby also on seven out of seven. Yep. Magnus would have played it. Probably true. Yep. Probably true. They need a Corey Kanesh for the 29 months. Appreciate. It. Thank you so much, Corey Kanesh. Yeah. There we go. One person on six and a half min lay. Everybody else on six points. Is this God smack? It is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did I take a break? No, I did not take a break after the early TT. No breaks. Yeah. Fabi also on seven out of seven. So I'm probably going to play Fabi. I, I don't know. I kind of like, I don't know. I've got a good score. Do I go for broke here to keep the streak alive or do I try to force a draw on a Berlin end game is the question. My gut says I should just go for it. If I lose, I lose, but so be it. Yeah. Got to keep the streak alive. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Voodoo. Yeah, go for the... I gotta go for it. Yeah, I gotta go for it. Yeah. Knight... Oh, I should make the knight draw against Faviano. <laughs> Can you imagine how bad that would be? That would be hilarious, actually. That would be really funny, but... Okay, let's focus. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, how many games are still going? Still two games, it looks like. Jossman's playing Bilodeau. Oh, this was a draw. Okay, what else? Thank you to EDFGHIJKARL for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. 
Current streak is 45. I won 14 in a row against Marshall. Marshall, I think his name is just Marshall. And I won 20 in a row against Matreya, who's like very, very low 2700s into the 26s. Yeah. Kramnik tweet, who knows? That'd be pretty funny if he tweeted. That'd be hilarious. Uh, Jose Salme, I think there was a rook sack at the end, but yeah. Very, very lucky though, because I was completely busted that last game. Um, no, nah, let's, just, let's just play standard chess. Kramnik actually tweeted. <laughs> yeah. Kramnik accuses I am opponent. Oh, great. Really? Wait, are you, are you serious? I hope you're not serious. Oh, no. And we got to be emote mode only. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um. Oh, no. Uh, let's play one of these old lines with C4 and Queen E3. Uh oh, I'm gonna look it up in a second. Hmm. Voodoo, voodoo. By the way, you know who would love this position with the white pieces is Cagnus Marlson, who's probably watching the stream actually. Yeah, good move. Um. All right, he hasn't played A6, so Queen B6 is always a move in this in this line. I forgot. Thank you so much to Max for the Prime. Appreciate it. Actually, I should check it out. Let's see. Kramnik. Did he tweet something? Let's see. Okay, something about H6. I don't see anything. Ising Goat go Dedi. What's that mean? Also, when comparing some of Carlson's... No okay, I, I see Turkish stuff, but whatever. We got to focus on the chess. Okay, it goes E6. Let's go back, I guess. Also, why am I doing this? I'm on a great streak trying to, trying to go for glory, and I'm busy talking about a stupid Kramnik tweet. What's wrong with me? Let's play B3 here. Thank you to Evan for the 30-month reset. Thanks so much to Evan. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Hikaru, for your Let's go here. Yay! Probably I'll play H3 somewhere, but we'll see when and where. I don't really want to waste time going H3, but I probably have to at some point. He'll probably play like 95. Maybe I go 91 even. Hard to judge, but let's see. H3 is a move, Rook D2 is a move. Um, Rook D2 feels kind of wrong, but I'm still going to play it. Maybe just Rook D1. I guard the, guard the bishop here. Could have played Knight A4 too, maybe. See what he does. There's H5. That looks like a very strange move to me. I don't know why, but it just doesn't feel right. It just feels really weird. It feels like it creates a weakness for no reason. I don't know. Maybe it's not a bad move, but it feels bad. Ah, he probably wants some King H7, Bishop H6 silliness. That's what he wants. Okay, so do I take with the Queen or the Bishop? I don't really know which one to take with. I'll take with the bishop, I guess. He's going to go knight e5, and I'm probably dropping back. Unless he has b5, but I can always take. It's also bishop a3 as well. See what he does. Okay, he's deep in the tank. Goes knight c5. Very reasonable move, actually. Um, bishop e2 is probably the right move. Can go knight b1 or knight e2. Doesn't feel great. I can also go g3 and bishop g2. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know what the right move is here. Getting a little bit stuck in the mud. Um, bishop a3, I don't love. I think I'm just going to retreat the bishop. I'm going to try to play this very slow and simply. And it goes rook d7. I expected that. Um... I don't really want to play knight b1, but I think I should just basically trade the bishops and then try to improve my position eventually. And he takes, I take. I'll go back, play like knights. Goes e5. Now that to me felt a little bit extravagant. Maybe it's not. But with these pawns on these squares, maybe it's not wrong, but it feels kind of wrong. I can go knight d5. I mean, I can also play here, but I assume knight d5 should just be correct.
So I can go rook d2, b4 is a move. I guess I'll go here. There's knight b6 to fork the rooks. I mean, he gets a knight to d4, so it's not like this is some wonderful dream or something, but still feels like I should be better here. I'm definitely better. Whether it's winning or not is a whole separate question. Whoops, a3, let's take. I mean, h4 looks... Uh, I see his ID. He's going to go rook a7. Um, wait, how do I do this exactly? I don't want to take on a5. I really don't want to play b5, but... You know, it's funny, but I actually think b5 is probably the correct move. Just because if I don't, he's going to trade and go rook a7, rook a1. I think in a blitz game, the knights are much better than anything here. Um, okay, I think I'll play like here, maybe. Goes there. No actual threat, I don't think, but I have to be careful. go here if g5 i take and go f4 and i should be fine i mean this is very very messy i'm not actually sure i can win this to be honest that's the problem here like maybe i go like here try to activate the bishop maybe but still i don't know how i'm supposed to win that's the pro okay it goes rook h8 which i was not expecting i think it's a very serious mistake actually because now I can always look to sack, okay. Takes takes queen d4 looks good, but it's not winning easily. Um I'm gonna go f4 here. Uh, again, I can take. I know this is right, but I'm gonna go for it now. I'm still better, but it's not gonna be easy to win this position. Do I have e5 here? No. Uh, let's go here. Um, Got to move. Go here, b7. That's not right. Can't win. It's, it's too risky. <sighs> Was I winning here? He found this really ridiculous queen d4. Queen d4. Ah, uh, fudge. Ah, that hurts. Ah, that hurts. Queen d4. I was one move away. Yeah, and even b... Why didn't I just go b6 right away? Wait, but... Oh, I can just go b7 and sack... Oh, frustrating. I let him get the stupid knight up to hook. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it evens out, though, because to be fair, the previous game I was completely lost. Like, that game I played a great game start to finish, but the previous one I was completely lost. So, 
it's all relative I think with Tom and Mario for the 20 you think he has flash for the tier one mm, that's frustrating yeah frustrating but like I said I was also completely lost in the previous game so I don't really have any right to complain yeah look at the Kramnik tweet now what are you tweet now oh he tweeted some some uh <laughs> are you kidding me is this actually his tweet <laughs> are you kidding me wait let me change the scene this is his tweet <laughs> uh, you cannot be serious I mean you cannot be serious jeez jeez you cannot be serious all right let's let's get back to our regular scene all right I think that's the break we're gonna take a short break we'll be back in a second um yeah we'll be we'll be back in a second uh yeah we're, we're on the, we're on the final break I think for the day <laughs> yeah okay be right back you guys give me a second all right you guys we are back thank you so much to uh pokey marion for the prime thing is for pokemon marion appreciate it so much all right so we're back we're on seven and a half, half, half seven and a half out of eight we're tied with uh minlay and fabiano here so we're tied um so yeah bach is kind of getting canceled i don't know what bach did but who cares yeah yeah so anyway I guess we're just boss got for the prime they have prep for the prime as well appreciate it. yeah Minley's on seven and a half out of eight yeah 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 oh did he tweet again oh no he lost an I am oh no oh no what happened now <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh no boys oh no what is this what is this I already forgot how disquasting it is to play Cheating Tuesdays. We'll play remaining games and no more. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe Nitzer edits for the sixth one. Thank you. Add one P, add one P for the prime. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Also, I love how it says disquasting, like literally typing angrily with the, with the misspelling. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. What is going on, dude? What is going on? yeah all right um uh, anyway all right let's get back to the chest no I'm pretty sure it's not a troll action I'm pretty sure that is his account so all right anyway <laughs> okay wait waiting for round number nine to start so all right okay yeah Round number nine coming up. Unfortunately, I lost my streak, but we just keep going. Mm. 
Yeah. Disquassing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I just mean, hey, it is what it is. Um, but yeah. Also, I love this screenshot because like anybody can literally look at his game and figure out who he's talking about. Like, if I pull up his profile, assuming this is correct. Yeah, all I have to do is look. Who did he lose to? Is the FM with that flag? No, it wasn't this guy. Um, okay, so it wasn't him. Who was it? 2706 was the rating, right? So was it this guy? I don't know. You can see the flag, right? Well, you can see the flag. It's a draw? Okay. Oh, tw yeah, you can see the flag. I mean, you can just see the flag. Like, it's not even... Yeah. I mean, you can literally see the flag. Yeah. Yeah, what to say. All right. These were the new Alita for the Prime, the new Alita. Thank you. Yay! Yeah. Davis just took $5 out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Twitch Prime opening is the best tactic. Mm. Twitch won't tell you. Um, do a podcast with Gotham. Do a podcast with Levy. Yeah. Let's keep going. All right, you guys. Ah. <sighs> Never, never a dull day in the world, Chess. Chess world should just ignore comments. Thank you for the 42 months. Thank you, Vanvert, for the two months as well. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah. 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 Oh, Kramnik replied to it, apparently. What, he replied? He's not allowed. I offer. <laughs> He's not allowed. <laughs> oh, man. It, it just, it, there's never a dull day in Chess. Jeez. Never a dull day. Okay, so we're playing Min Lei here. Now, this is round number nine. I mean, probably I need to win this game. Let's play standard. I think I'm going to play D5. Something a little bit different here. Min Lei is not streaming, is he? No. With C4. I'm just going to put my queen on D6 here. I'm going to try to play this like a Cagnus Marlson would. This is how Cagnus would play. Thank you, Spilexi, for the tier one. Let's go here. Bishop B7, Fianchito. Uh huh. Logical. Uh, I guess I'll play A6 first. I have to be a little bit careful how I play this. I think I've got to play E6 here and then Knight D7. <clears throat> okay, let's just drop the queen back. I pretty much achieved what I wanted out of the opening here. I've achieved an imbalance. I don't feel like my opponent knows exactly how to play the structure. And I can put the rooks on D8 and C8. Like, Minlay is a more positional guy. So this should be... This is more or less what I wanted out of the open. Doesn't mean, like, I'm doing well or anything. But this is what I wanted. So I could go C5 here. It's kind of interesting. It's not a bad move, objectively. No, I think I'm going to do it. If D5, I'll just take and go, like, 98, 96. Trades. I'm a little surprised by that. I mean, unless I'm blundering something very obvious here, I don't really see why this should be bad for me. Let's go rook c8. You can obviously take. b5 takes. You just take the knight. That's something, but it doesn't look terrible. Goes queen b3. Okay, I have knight e4 to try to open it up. I can also go into like knight e8, knight e6. Um, I don't particularly like my position, though. I will say that much. Um, okay, let's go knight e8 here. Try to reroute the pieces a little bit. Bishop F8 was also maybe a move, too, but okay, whatever. Yeah, I did miss this move. Um, slight problem. Okay, I guess I'll take... I can go Bishop C6 here. Yeah, I don't like the way I've played this at all. I think I'm going to go Rook B8, though. Try to put pressure on the pawns here in the center of the board. Well, it's a pretty balanced position, I would say, right now. My knight on e8 is completely misplaced, so it should be on f6 or e4 here. Okay, it goes for this, which is fine. Um, I mean, it's completely fine the way he's played this, but I'm not actually... Okay, let's go here. He'll take. <clears throat> I think I will take with the queen or the rook. It's not easy. I guess I'll take with the rook. 
Not sure if Rook takes this correct. Right? It goes B5, so of course I can just trade. I mean, unfortunately for me, this is kind of heading towards a draw. Like, this is very much heading towards a, a drawish endgame. And maybe I can try to squeeze somehow, but probably going to be a draw. He goes B6. Okay, so the key here is how do I activate? So I think Knight D6 makes sense. <clears throat> I mean, I shouldn't really be able to lose this. I mean, if he plays great, I mean, like, Magnus, maybe I would lose this to. Maybe. I still doubt it, but... But this pawn should not be a strength here. I mean, it's strong, but it's not, like, overwhelming because it's blockaded. And I've got this knight jumping every which way. Queen there. I can go knight f5. Bishop f8 is a move. Knight e4 is also maybe a move here. <clears throat> Queen c6 also a move as well. Um, kind of feel like there's got to be some way to play this for more. Maybe knight e4. Yeah, I'm going to go knight e4 here, see what he does. Because I still have bishop f8, I have knight c3, knight d5. I mean, not really sure if I have anything here, but I feel like I'm trying to play for more. And it goes knight d4, I expect that. Now, I can still go knight c3 and knight d5 if I want. I can also go e5, maybe. Bishop f8 looks very reasonable, though. Let's go here and hit the queen. Let's queen b2. That's not the move that I expected, actually. Um... Hmm. Okay, I'm thinking too long. Think about this. Queen c4, maybe knight d6. I'm just going to go back and play for knight c4. <clears throat> I think knight d6 was wrong, actually. I think it was very wrong, maybe. Why did I do that? It was queen b3, which, okay, that's, that's a reasonable move. Um, I'll go here to hit the queen. Yeah, I can go queen c2. I mean, I can obviously trade here and draw this, but I, I don't really want to. So I think I'm going to go maybe here. Ah, I should have put the queen on b8, I think. A slight mistake by me to allow knight f3. But wait, now I've got knight f5, maybe? Bishop c5, queen c6. Okay, he might have made a mistake here. He might have made a mistake. I might have chances to win now. It goes. Okay, now, I mean, I should never lose here. Yeah, like I go here and bishop d8. Like I should never lose this position. I mean, he's still going to fight hard, but <laughs> how do I do this, though? Somehow I need to keep the two Bs alive. I guess I just go here. I don't want to trade, but I kind of have to. Let's go for this. Okay, the key here to try and win this game is basically to play against the dark square weaknesses. So, go h5. Go h4. Go here, guard the pawn. Yeah, because now it's getting a little bit scary. I have queen b1. I also have queen b2, maybe. How do I do this? Okay, let's see. I can play e5, maybe. I'm going to go here. Oh, did I just blunder? Oh, I... Why did I allow? Oh, yeah, yeah. Why did I allow that? So, there, I guess. There. Okay, I'm going to try to trade queens in this end game, I guess.
Let's go here. Am I winning here? I think I'm winning. Okay, now that was a game that Magnus would be proud of. Thank you, Sephiro, for the bits. That was a game that Magnus would be very proud of. That was a game that was a draw, I think, until the very end, right? That was, an, that was a very Magnus-esque game. Okay, I was much better, but I was never winning, I guess. So I was better. F5 is win- Oh, I was going to play F5, and then I didn't play it. What the heck? It was plus two from out of the opening, probably. But, okay, it goes on. Yeah, it was a very magnus us gun game. Keep squeezing. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze for the juice at the end of the day. And eventually, I was able to squeeze just enough juice from the, from the, uh, from the fruit. Oh, wait. This is losing, actually? Wait. Oh, G4 is winning here. Oh, Wow. Wait, this is actually winning? What the heck? Oh, wow. Because I can hide on H3. Oh, wow. Oh, G4 is winning. Wow. And now it's a draw, but... And now it's... Oh, H3 is winning again? Oh, no, but King E3 is also winning. Yeah, wow, okay. Very interesting endgame. Thanks for Lauren X, Lauren's XMMM for the 33. Thank you, Mikey D for the Prime. Thank you for the 33 month resub. Very interesting. Okay, Fabiano gets a win too, and now I get Nihal. Man, why can't I ever get an easy pairing? <sighs> I have to play Nihal here. I'm trying to think what I'm going to do against him. Oh, he's going to play E4. Um, I think I'm going to be solid this time. be rock solid play this line I'm gonna castle takes takes is fine he's thinking he goes knight c3 When I have knight d4 here, I might, I might, I might have confused my lines in this game. If I go, eight, I mean, h6 looks correct. This should be the first move is correct. If I go here, because I think if he takes, takes, take. Don't I have knight d4? Am I stupid? I'm knight d4. I thought. Oh I, oh, I was supposed to take with the B pawn. I took with the wrong pawn. Oh, I'm just an idiot. I took with the wrong pawn. Now I'm just much worse. Uh, I just messed this all up. I took with the wrong pawn. I was supposed to take with the B pawn. Oh, great. Lovely. Let's go F5. Try to pretend that I've done nothing wrong here, basically. He can also just go E5. I mean, H3, I just take, and I'm probably okay somehow. <clears throat> Not smart. They did your favorite, your favorite pack with four and super jacks with prime. Renzo just should... There he does. I'm maybe not completely lost, actually. Yeah, I mean, maybe, I mean, I'm sure it's bad, but it doesn't look like it's just losing. It goes H3, but now I can just take, I think. The show goes on, actually. Now, I have rook f4, bishop f3. 
Wait, bishop f3, queen f3. Wait, is g5, g5, queen h5? Rook f4? That's only a draw. Wait, take six, bishop g5, g3. Queen h4. Mm, oh, that's a tough spot. Okay, bishop f3, queen f3, g5, queen h5 is just a draw. Rook f4, check, check, check. That's a draw. Bishop g5, bishop g5, no. Bishop d6, no. Knight e5, no. I think I have to force a draw. This isn't what I want to do, but I think I have to force a draw. I mean, he can try to play on here, but I don't think it's working. I can also take with a G pawn, maybe. Let me think. If h4, I have rook h4. And queen, queen g8, I think. Could have gone king f8. King f8 might have been a little bit safer, but... Oh, did I just blunder this? Oh, wait, no, I can maybe take. Wait, I can take. I should have put the king on f8, not on, um, not on h8. It goes there. Still very tough to play this. Um, so I'll go here. It's a messy position. It's probably bad for me objectively, but whatever. Have to pick up the speed here too, because I'm down on clock. Good news is the pawns are blockaded. Here. Knight C5 looks acceptable. I think I'm okay here, actually. Yeah, Nihal's definitely misplayed this. I also have bishop d4. But I think I just go back. It's it's not like this is great for me or anything, but I shouldn't be worse. Let's go like b6 probably, try to guard the pawns. Okay, I'm going to bring my king over, bring the knight back at some point. I could go a4 maybe, depending. I think I'm gonna offer him a draw, see if he wants it. Rook A8, I go I go B6 here. I can also play A4. No, but I think B6 just consolidate. Go here. As long as I don't let him get his king in or pawns in, this should be fine. Okay, he's trying to bring the king up. So I'll go here. Here, pressure the pawn. This should not be losing for me. I'm going to go here. I'm going to try to get a little bit cheeky, maybe. 94 check, maybe. Go g4, which I'm actually shocked by, to be honest. Um, go here. Legitimately shocked by that move on for some reason. I don't know why I'm shocked, but I am. Here, I guess. I mean, it's very, very tricky. I go here. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to go for it anyway. This is very risky for me. I don't know why I did this. Oh, 
Oh, I blundered this too. Great. This might still be a draw. I might even be winning here. <sighs> I mean... I think I'm winning here, no? Wait. Oh, it's a draw? Okay, I was I oh what an end game, jeez. That was an exciting game. That was an exciting game, actually. That was a really good game, I think. Oh, knight b7. Oh, knight b7 and... But it's still... Actually, wait. It's still not clear. Wait, knight d6 takes? Still very, very unclear. a4 is winning at the end. I had a feeling there was some way to win, but... a4... Oh, no. a4 is winning? Oh, no. A4. Ah, that's annoying. I want to finish it in style. It's so annoying. Okay, this is what I had against Magnus in the, uh, what, champion's chest I guess, or something? Oh, I was supposed to take on C4. Why did I do this? Go here. Oh. A4 was actually winning. Oh, that's upsetting. Ah, uh, because I can gobble, I can gobble A2 and come back. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Okay, let's reset. Not a big deal. What is this from my opponent, by the way? This... Wait, I'm a little confused. Wait. There's queen b4. This is not a move. I know that. Um, I'm going to go here on rook d1, I guess. Or am I just blundering now? I might just be blundering. Oh. Yeah, I, I think I'm just blundering. <sighs> Frustrating. <sighs> I would have won this turn with that extra half point. Thank you, Katie Dub. Thank you, Nemesis. Thank you, La Grenouille Savage. <sighs> yeah, that's upsetting. I, mean, I guess I should take. I have queen b2. I have knight d4 also. Let's go here. Oh, that's so upsetting. Still on my mind, but whatever. Okay, reset, reset. Reset. Oh, it's so annoying. It was such a great game that I played to not win that.
I mean, he's got knight c5, queen b2, and the show goes on. But with all this activity on the queen side, it's hard to believe that I can really be worse. There's knight f6. Very, very passive move. Um, just trying to consolidate. I mean, I can play c6 here. I don't have many good moves. Knight b5 doesn't do a lot. I mean, I can take and play rook c1 and just draw the game. But I probably can't win. But a draw is still better than nothing. So just go here. Ah, frustrating. A4. I mean, maybe rook g4 is drawing from them, because rook g4, c5 takes, takes g7, c2, d8, queen g1 is probably a draw, but... <sighs> okay, let's go here, hit the queen. Yeah, queen e6. Maybe I've got knight b5 here, actually. Actually, wait, maybe I'm back in it to win it suddenly. Wait, he made a mistake, I think. I'm, I think I'm back in it to win it. I have rook e4, maybe? I mean, knight a7. It's a pawn. Is it the pawn that I want? I also have knight c7. Queen d6, rook d4. Four, wait a second. It's also knight d4, knight c6. Wait. I feel like I, I feel like there's something here. I don't know why, but it just I can feel the je ne sais quoi again. Knight a7, bishop d7. But I mean at the end of the day, this is just a free pawn. Like this is just a free pawn on on a7 on b7, I think. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I am just up a pawn here, so I don't know why I'm complaining so much. If only everything in life was free. Goes rook d8, which looks strange to me. Um, I'm just going to go a3 here. And then probably drop the bishop back and play queen b4. Let's just drop the bishop back. I can take and go knight c6. I mean, this should be very close to winning for me, objectively. Take. Queen b6, just knight c6. And bishop c6 and b5. I mean, it's not like it's winning necessarily, but technically speaking, this looks like a very big advantage. Goes h4, which looks wrong. Okay, what am I doing here? Let's see. Knight c6. Looks pretty reasonable. I'm just going to start pushing P. B5, B6, B7. I should probably be winning here. He does. Time is even, but I'm in good shape. He has H3, but H3... Actually, H3 is kind of annoying, maybe. I'll pre this anyway. Basically, here I'm thinking about what I'm going to do if he plays h3. And yeah, he's going for the mate. I see that. I can play queen a1, maybe. I'm going to go queen b1, though. That was a mistake because now the knight gets active. Maybe. Maybe not. Queen a1. I do have b6. I don't know. Unless I'm missing something, I don't, I don't understand. But don't I have queen a1 here, or am I stupid? I think I just have queen a1, and I think I'm just winning, because now the pawn pushes. Let's go here. This should be winning. Yeah, this has to be winning. Now I can just like improve my position. I'm gonna go King C6 here. Well, I got to move. What the heck? Oh, 
Oh my gosh. I messed that up. Oh man, that's a huge win. I completely, what was I doing? What was I doing? Jeez, what was I doing? I totally flubbed this, but he flags. Jeez. I think I win the event anyway, but man, that was bad. Title Tuesdays are becoming too difficult. Yeah. Yeah. No, Title Tuesdays are becoming ridiculous. I'm going to be honest. Like, this is just too tough. I think there was a sniper vein for the tier one. I mean, I guess it, it all works out. I mean, I should have beaten Nihal and I didn't, but at least I won the last one. Too difficult for um for a streamer, yeah. No, I mean every game now is so brutal. Even that one, I was completely winning. I messed it up, but now yeah. let's see. Do I get the win or not? Thank you so much to IDMNT for the eighteen months. Appreciate it. Yeah. No, I mean the knee hall game was brutal. This game was brutal. Ask Kramnik why they're becoming so tough. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Don't you enjoy the challenge? Sure, but like, it's like, I don't know, I'm streaming like eight hours. It's brutal. I mean, it's so brutal. But no, those games were all very hard. That game was tough. The game against Nihal was really brutal. I mean, all these games were brutal. Yeah, we got the win. So we got the win in the second title Tuesday of the new year with 10 points out of 11. Second place is Mechanic, also in 10 out of 11 with a 73 tiebreaker. Third place is Fabiana Caruana with nine and a half out of 11. And so we finally got a win. So the first two title Tuesdays of the year were won by Magus Carlson as well as myself. Um, so pretty good stuff, you guys. Cannot complain. So we win our $1,000. Um, and we, uh, yeah, we won our $1,000 and we win the second title Tuesday of the year. So Magus has won. I have won. And we just got to both win 19 more this year. So, or no, sorry, Magus did not win. MVL won. What am I saying? MVL won. Come on, wake up. Smell the coffee. Wake up. Wake up. Yeah. So, um, yeah, MVL won. What do I, I, I can't even speak English anymore. You look tired. Yeah. So on that note, you guys, we're going to call it a day. I'm going to send the raid over to Mr. Min, Mr. Min, Mr. Benjamin Bach. Um, we're going to send the raid over to him. I'm going to call it a day, you guys. I'm obviously sauced after such a long stream. Big shout out to the nearly 20K of you guys who, who are watching throughout the day. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the show. I will be back tomorrow on Kick Around 10 a.m. Eastern time, roughly. We'll be streaming Arena Kings, more Blitz, trying to grind our way up towards the inevitable 3370 level. Um, but it's just going to have a lot of fun with chess tomorrow as well. But we'll be on Kick. And I will see you guys all bright and early. So make sure that you enjoy Benjamin's stream and see you tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoy the show. Bye.